Now it's a pretty big airport and getting around Tokyo can be very time consuming, which is why I've put together this list of things that are near enough to each other and are at the top of my list of recommended things to go do in a Tokyo layover. So let me show you a few things I highly recommend you go see and do. Here we are at Narita Airport. So when you come out of baggage claim and you get into the first floor of Narita Airport, you want to go right and then go all the way down to JAL ABC to get your SIM card. Uh, so these are the SIM cards we bought. <coughs> this one's three gigabytes for 30 days. And this is unlimited for only seven days. And then these are the VPN settings for the phone. All right, now, okay, if you get, once you get your SIM card, come into settings, cellular, cellular data network, and then type in the data just here. If you want LTE here, if you want hotspot, enter the data here. APN is in the password, that's all you need. Boom, there you go. On Narita, this is the KSA line. You can get out of Narita, buy tickets here, and then come out to here. If you manage to come here early in the morning, go check out my Mashiba because they're only open from 12 noon until 5 p.m. Video recording mode. We we'll get the head massage with the Shiba Inu. Uh, this one's enjoying the hidden stars. You know, I can get some Dodge coin. Huh? Can you some Dodge coin for me? <laughs> Making the Dodge coin. That's how you make Dodge coins. Should I get the longest? Mm. <laughs> Explore Shinjuku. Shinjuku is the premier neon city. It makes other neon cities look pale in comparison. Down every street and down every alley, there's so many things to see. Go shopping. There's so many interesting things that you can find in Tokyo. Clothes can be found for cheaper than back in the States. Plus, most places offer tax-free shopping for tourists. It's cheaper here than in the uh, US. China has Don Quixote. What's that? Oh, just some it. Look at the Shiba Inu. Oh, it's so cute. Crap. Oh, Shiba Shiba. More Shiba Inu. You need a coin purse? A cat coin purse? Oh, a cat coin purse. That's kind of huge. Uh, is it? I'm allergic to cats. 
<laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> Looks luxurious and so. To be fair, the only one is. <laughs> I like you both. <laughs> 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 you gotta imagine you gotta you got family mark, you gotta pay for something, and then you be like, oh wait, I got changed. Let me see if I got changed. <laughs> One second. <laughs> and then the girls would be like, Kawaii, and the Kawaii. <laughs> Medium Kawaii. Give me more money. Don't feed it. So here we are, Yodabashi and Mata. Tax free shop. See what they got inside today. Strap is too big. Oh, this is a small one. They don't have no strap on it. Oh, they got a lot of different cases here. All of them are too big for what I want. And look at these, they got lens covers and stuff. They got the Instax minis here. And they got the 40, which is only $14 more than the regular 11. Here's the prices on the films. Roughly about the same like Amazon. It's not bad. And it's like a GoPro 11 Mini. I never heard of that before. Look at this fat one. What the hell is this? What the, what the F is this? This is the new Instax 1 inch 360. This is hella huge. I wasn't thrilled with Shimo Kitazawa. In the winter, all the thrift shops were mainly selling winter clothes. And the selection didn't have much variety. I'm always looking for variety, and here didn't have it. Thrift shops back in California is where it's at. This place can't even compare. So don't believe the hype, and you have been warned. If you are in Shimokitazawa, then might as well check out this spot. Village Vanguard is a bookshop that sells a lot of random non-book items as well. All just a bunch of crap in my honest opinion. You can probably find most of this stuff at Don Quixote. So you might want to save yourself a trip and not even come here. The only saving grace was the Nescafe Gashapon machine. Look, shower room collection. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> We're in Japan. Oh, oh. Poo -poo. That's cafe. There it is. Oh snap. How much? 200? Where can I get change? Pancake hair clips. Ooh, ramen hair clips. <laughs> Made. I don't think a cat will be a very good mate though. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get bad They're service. Assholes, yeah. It's like that Ghibli shot. Oh, that's you got the Xi Jinping bank. And the piglet bank. Play Gashapan. What is Gashapan? Well, it's these vending machines that sell capsule based toys. It's kind of a form of gambling because you don't know what item you're going to get. It's a mystery and that's part of the game. Might as well try it out and see if you like it. It's pretty fun. What did you get? This <laughs> is so hard to open. <laughs> it's childproof. <laughs> oh, it's open. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I got the gold blend. Oh, the shitty blend. <laughs> the <gold> blend. <laughs> and if you're already here, then might as well go to Shiro Hige Cream Puff Factory. It's a Studio Ghibli inspired nightmare. I highly recommend you just order food to go, especially in the winter since the waiting time to get an upstairs table can be up to two hours. And if you made it this far, then might as well go to the infamous Gotokuji Cat Temple and get your social media photos and buy your cat statue souvenirs. Just remember, they close around 5 p.m. And this place is super far from the airport. 
just says uh, less than my finger. Before heading back to the airport, if you got two hours to burn, you might as well come to this spot, which is known for the tempura bowls. Wait time was roughly an hour. Then finally catch the next train for a comfortable ride back to the Narita airport. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Now that you have this must-do list, depending on the time of day or night you get into Tokyo will determine how many things you can knock off this list. So don't forget to like and share this video with your friends or enemies. And until next time, peace.